day 52. Now we're back to one of my favorite topics, time management. Um, so the goal today is for you to kind of think about the last 50 days or so, um, and really, you know, however long you've been coaching, but especially during this, this period where we've been really trying to devote to growing this uh, to a full-time business for you. Um, what is your number one priority right now? So this is something that's going to really depend on where you're at in your business um, and, and obviously how, how you want to treat this business, where you want to take this business, um, how long you've been doing this, how big your team is. You know, there's a whole lot of factors that are involved, but really today I want you to focus in on what's your priority. Now, if you're a brand new coach, this might be, you know, getting to Emerald, so finding a couple of coaches to recruit. Perhaps it's getting a bunch of challengers um, that you can start growing a bunch of challenge groups. Um, perhaps you're already a coach with several people under you, so you want to start developing your team and finding some leaders in that team. So whatever your priority is right now, I want you to go to... Um, whether it's your power hour to-do list, um, if you've been using the business activity tracker for a couple of weeks or so, um, sit down and really look at what you're doing every day as far as your business goes. If you don't have tracking yet, which you should have been doing really throughout this um, training, I want you to start doing this in the next couple of days and really write down what you're doing as far as your business activities. You know, are you talking to people? Are you being proof of the product? Are you doing personal development? Are you developing any kind of challenge groups? Um, you know, just think about what different business activities you're doing and then look at what your priority is and think about how much time you spend on each of those activities and ask yourself, do these things align? If I want to do nothing but recruit coaches right now, that's what I want. I want to grow a big team very quickly, but I'm not talking to anyone. I'm just developing trainings or... Um, working out all the time or working out with just my group of clients and not running any challenge groups, you know, those things don't probably align. If I'm spending 5% of my week devoting to um, recruiting coaches, but my number one priority is to grow a group of coaches and, and get a big team, you know, like that, that doesn't really align. So maybe I need to think about my priorities again and think about my daily activities and get those more in line with each other. So I want you for right now to either look at what you've been tracking your activity on or start tracking over the next few days. Ask yourself how much time you're spending on each activity and then think about what your priority is and how do those things align together. Do they align or is you know your priority is here but your activity is down here and they're not even communicating to one another. Um, and then I want you, once you figure all that out, to think about okay, do, what can I adjust um, what activities can I, you know, take down a notch right now? What activities do I need to ramp up? Um, how much time can I really devote to all these things? That's what I want you to be focusing on today and really um, for the remainder of the training. So you can really make sure that whatever your goals are, that your actions and activities, especially the things you do on a daily basis, that they need to align with what your goal and your plan is. Okay? Now that's not to say you can't work on other things, but the majority of your time needs to be focused on what your priority is and what your main goals are, even if it's just for the duration of this training. Okay, so that's it for today. Look forward to hearing from you.